So yeah, that oh, that is loud. <laughs> Jeez. What's up guys? How you guys doing? Real quick, I'm out Christmas shopping. What do you guys want for Christmas? Which one do you want? The DJI Action 2 or the GoPro Hero 10? Wow, look at this weather. Holy cow, when did this happen? It was like, it went from like freezing to like summer in like a day. In the DJI Action 2 versus the GoPro Hero 10, someone actually asked, a really, really good question. And that is, if I had the money and I had to choose which one to get between the two, either the GoPro or the DJI Action 2, which one would I get? And I can only choose one. That is a great question. Okay, quick side note. Do you see this place right here? This place right here? It looks like a big cathedral. This place is actually an apartment. Who knew? So I'm on the Sony a7S III and you guys already know it. It is a big camera and it's a bit much when vlogging, especially when I'm used to like using the smaller cameras like the DJI Pocket 2. Yeah, it's just like one of those things that you just gotta get used to. You just gotta keep at it, keep practicing. And you got Pippin? Nice meet you, Sky. <laughs> I think this is it, I think. So my wife saw these bottles and she really liked, I guess, I guess we're gonna be popping bottles, but yeah, she wanted a couple of these bottles. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple for her for Christmas, but yeah, I guess we, I guess we popping bottles up in this piece. I think that's it right there. That's the one that my wife wants. All right, so got the last Christmas gift. Let's head home and talk about the DJI Action 2 and GoPro Hero 10. <laughs> so the big question is, if money wasn't an option and you could only choose one though, which one would you choose? The DJI Action 2 or the GoPro Hero 10? <clears throat> is such a hard question because I really like the GoPro Hero 10. Like it is just good. But I also like the DJI Action 2. I've been waiting for it for a long time. And while a lot of people was disappointed, I was actually really excited when I saw the design just because knowing DJI, I think they got something else cooking. But you know, we're gonna stay off of that right now. We're just gonna focus on which one to choose. Which one should you choose? And which one would I choose? Like if I could only choose one. All right, so I think the best way to answer this is to is to compare how each camera performed when I did the GoPro Hero 10 versus the DJI vlog. I think that that's the best way to go. So let's start off by addressing the audio. Now, pimp, I gotta say, the audio on the GoPro Hero 10 is really good, but the DJI Action 2 though, it picks up my voice so well, especially for it being like so small. So at first when I was comparing the audio, I was gonna say that this was a tie, but pimp, I'ma go ahead and call it for or the DJI Action 2. And now hear me, hear me out, hear me out. And the only reason I say this is because I do have to edit audio when it comes to the GoPro Hero 10. And what I mean by edit is, I'm not talking about just raising the levels, but I have to actually draw keyframes in the audio just because of the way the Hero 10 records its audio, which basically causes more work for me. I'll, I'll give you an example. So yeah, I got my GoPro Hero 10, press record, and now for some reason, right at the beginning of the clip, the audio is very low and then it starts to rise. For some reason, right at the beginning of the clip, the audio is very low and then it starts to rise, which means, and now this is a bit of a headache because now I have to make keyframes in the audio just so that the beginning matches the rest of the clip's audio. And now, I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, that's why I have to give it to the DJI Action 2. All right, so now, when it comes to stabilization, that one's a little tricky too because, because when I actually look back at the footage from the vlog, the DJI Action 2 appears to do better at stabilizing the footage. While the GoPro had a little bit more artifacting in the backgrounds, even though it was the same conditions, same time of day, everything was the same. So I would say that the DJI Action 2 has it on the stabilization, but, but I like that on the GoPro Hero 10, you can adjust 
the stabilization. So not only can you just like completely turn it off, but you get to choose how much stabilization you want. And they have like three or four, maybe four? No, they have like three different selections that you can choose from. And I actually like that. So I'm gonna have to give it to the GoPro Hero 10. And now when it comes to durability and reliability, that's kind of a different story for me. That's where I think the Action 2 is better. Everything just kind of works and it's pretty quick doing so as well. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give the durability and reliability to the DJI Action 2. I haven't had any freezes, nothing like that. But the responsiveness of it is like amazing and it's a lot better than the GoPro. So I'm definitely gonna give that category to the DJI Action 2. And now when it comes to battery life, the DJI Action 2 also did much better than the GoPro Hero 10, so I'm gonna have to give it to the DJI Action 2. And now, don't get me wrong though, this ain't a diss track on the GoPro Hero 10, because when it comes to image quality, it's the GoPro all the way. I mean, the GoPro just has it. The overall image quality that you get from the GoPro Hero 10 is good and it's it's like really good. I do like the colors that the DJI produces straight out of camera as well as the indoor quality. Indoor quality on the DJI Action 2 is amazing. Hands down, just great. There is not a lot of noise in the footage if it's well lit. And that's what I like. I don't understand why GoPro is struggling with this factor of, like I personally feel like if it's not super low light, then you shouldn't get a bunch of noise. But for some reason you do in the GoPro, you get a bunch of noise in the blacks and the shadows. and I just don't understand it, but hemp. When you look at footage side by side, I have to call it on the GoPro. The GoPro just does have better image quality. Like there's nothing else to say. I mean the 5.3K, it, it shows on the GoPro. But what is interesting though, is that the 4K footage, the DJI Action 2 actually looks a lot better. So I don't, I don't know what is going on. So yeah, but I'm gonna have to call it GoPro Hero 10 for the image quality. But also while looking at the footage like closely, I noticed that the DJI Action 2 looks a little bit better than the GoPro sometimes, but then the GoPro looks better than the DJI Action 2 sometimes. Yeah, that, it's so weird. I mean, you would have thought that the GoPro just has much better image quality, but no, it, it's actually really close. So with all of that said, which one is the better buy? I mean, they're both really good cameras, but they also have cons. For example, the DJI Osmo Action 2 feels delicate. The zoom feature is kind of useless. The low light stabilization is kind of rough sometimes. There's also no adjustment for the sharpness. You got to do that in post. And then a big one to me is, and this is just personal preference, you can't tap a certain spot on the screen and just expose from that spot on the screen. Like, that's kind of a downer to me. But the GoPro also has con too. Like, this thing ain't perfect. I mean, for example, it feels sturdy, but as you saw in the video, one drop from waist high and the screen is done. Now, now, will this happen to everybody? Probably not, but it can happen. Y'all better get that screen protector. Another con is that the low light performance should be better. Like that's just, I feel like it's just been too long. You know, like, like by now, I mean, it's been a minute. So the low light capability should be better. I mean, to me, it could, it could do better. And also the same thing in like medium light. It is just not that good. Same with indoors. It's just not that good. And then the last con has to be the stress of knowing that you might lose some footage. Like I have not lost footage with this. I'm gonna just be real. I have never lost footage with the GoPro Hero 10, but I have had it where I would press record to stop recording and you get that just rolling ring. And it, it just, it's just there, it just keep going and going. And I'm like, what is going on? Like you do get that little added stress with the GoPro Hero 10. All right, so now after going hard in the paint, which one should I go with? Which one, if I could only choose one, if I only had the option to ask Santa for one, the GoPro or the DJI Action 2, blow for blow, cheek for cheek, which one would it be? I'm gonna have to go with the GoPro Hero 10 Black. And now, hear, hear me out, hold up, hear me out. I'm gonna just have to say it just because when adding everything up, it's just a little bit better. Like, overall, it is. It is just a little bit better. The DJI Osmo Action 2 is amazing and is one of my new favorite cameras. I do carry it with me a lot now just because it takes up no space. But overall, I just like the look a little bit better on the GoPro. I love the 5.3K. It's actually really good. The image quality is really good. Now, can GoPro work on some things? Yes, I mean, they got a lot to work on, especially the indoor stuff. But when it comes to my personal life, my YouTube channel, and I, I like being out and about, just over, like, you guys see me. I like being out and about. And that's where this thing shines. When it comes to just walking and talking, this thing does really, 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 like, the quality is just so good with it. Now, indoors, not so much. But 
I like that you have more control of it, meaning you can adjust the sharpness. I like that you can adjust the bit rate. I like that you can actually make custom settings. On the DJI Action 2, you can't do any of that stuff. And that's the thing with the DJI Aspect 2. But I do love it for what it is. Like again, pimp, this ain't a diss track, okay? I'm just saying if I had to choose one and I couldn't choose the other, like I was just one, I would have to go with the GoPro Hero 10. But anyway, what do you guys think? Like, let me know if you only could choose one, which one would it be and why? Like, you gotta say why too as well. And don't just go off of what I said. I really just want you guys to be honest and just share with the community which one would you choose? The DJI Action 2 or the GoPro Hero 10 Black? Which one would it be? And also, quick side note, Y'all need to get screen protectors. Don't look, I know y'all thugs. We bosses up in this piece, but get screen protectors. Trust me. <laughs> okay, I feel like people are forgetting who I am, who they messing with. I bought these glass screen protectors for the DJI Osmo Action 2, and look at the, man, it's not even glass, it's like, it's plastic. I don't know what it is, but everybody trying to test my gangster these days. Look, I'm fresh out. I will pull up. 